garden update spring 2016 we've got these are four by six raised beds I've got three in the front are strawberry beds there's uh, 15 strawberry plants in each one they're covered with netting keep the birds and squirrels out uh, the next row is two blueberry plants per each box for six total of six different kinds and this is their second year so we're actually hoping to get blueberries this year. Last year we had to uh, pinch all the flowers off to uh, just get the plant started but they look good this year. And the next row is uh, some thornless blackberries that I started over the winter. So this is kind of uh, our little mini orchard back here and I have plans for expansion into some uh, muscadine grapes and fruit trees further back in that area just add on every year. Our strawberries are doing really well. You can see they're just bursting with uh, green strawberries. We've been picking probably two cups a day. They ripen overnight it seems. There you can see some some red strawberries. These are the hoops and the netting that I use to quickly throw a protection over them when they need protection from cold or roaming crows which we have. They're doing really well this year. I gave them more spacing and a little bit of fertilizer and they seem to really respond. We've been getting some really nice big healthy looking strawberries. The blueberries also look good. Not all of them are were covered in blooms this spring but a few of these varieties you can see those are promising bunches of blueberries. I'll probably have to cover these with bird netting in June when they start turning blue and looking good to the blue to the to the crows in the neighborhood and these are the blackberries which don't look like much and probably won't bloom this year but hopeful for next year and this is the future of some fruit and grapes maybe some apples and pears show you the veggie side on the other side of the house. Sir are Leslie's herb beds in the back of the house looking good. We've got onions and oh, rosemary and a couple different kinds of thyme and parsley chives are blooming and some flowers and more thyme all kinds. Of and this is the vegetable bed side of the house which everything's looking good. It's uh, mid-April right now. Starting to get some days that are close into the 90s, so our kale and some of our winter crops are wilting, and this is probably going to be their last week or two. Um, this is some of our kale that's still left from over the winter. Some red Russian kale. Some onions down here. These are the garlic varieties. This is my trial bed of garlic. There's six different varieties in here and we'll be harvesting these in June and Leslie's going to help me braid them and dry them and we're going to see which varieties seem to do well. In our climate here we've got these are Chinese Napa cabbages. These are mini 45 day cabbages which are starting to form nice little heads. Uh, these are full size cabbages which May not make it before we get hot weather, but they look nice right now. This is a bean trellis that we just put up uh, this weekend. We're going to grow Vortex beans up here, and hopefully it'll fill up and we can walk right through and pick beans all summer long. If you're looking for a good pole bean variety, look at, check out Vortex. It's a hybrid, but it's amazing. And of course this is netted because of past experience with crows and their hobby of digging up seeds that I just planted and throwing them around the yard. Now this is an empty bed. We'll probably do uh, sweet potatoes in. Right now there's some cilantro. We've got Swiss chard. More red Russian kale. Some curly kale. Some onions. These are a big uh, Idalia variety. Granex onions. Built some massive tomato cage towers that I'll be passing down to my great great grandchildren someday. 
and we're giving tomatoes a lot more spacing this year. These are all indeterminate, so I'm hoping they sh they can fill out uh, this 10 foot tower of tomatoes. And I got those mulched in really nice. I just got those in a few days ago. And another empty bed, maybe some uh, sweet peppers will go in there. Also, next to the garden here in our chicken yard for the first time, uh, last year we started, we raised some turkeys for Thanksgiving and we kept a male and a female. And our, our uh, female turkey, Cornelia, is now a proud mother. She's sitting on, uh, I think, 16 turkey eggs and one goose egg, which is a long story. But we're hoping that we have a family of turkeys this spring. Not sure if she knows what she's doing yet, but she started laying eggs and I built her a little makeshift turkey nest out of logs and lumber. She seems to be pretty happy in. Added some extra area to the chicken yards and they seem to be happy as well. We're getting lots of eggs this spring and give them plenty away. No video is complete without a shot of Big Lou and his gang. Here's the proud father in all his glory. It's our rooster and our hens. I'm trying to grow some grass in here because they've got it pretty well deforested in the rest of their pen so I'm trying to grow some fresh greens and cycle it through. They're very happy this spring.